Hello, welcome to the channel. I'm going to try and show you how to construct a roof if you don't already know how to. Um, and to show you some basic tips and tricks and understand roof pitches and slopes and I'll show you tools you can use, uh, methods of cutting, all sorts of things. So we need to start at the basics really and how the roof it's constructed how we work out the cuts so let's get to it move these bits out of the way basically a roof consists of three elements really first element is your roof plate which goes along the top course of your brickwork and it gives you a means of connecting your rafters to the main building. The second thing we need to know is the pitch we're going to use. So that could be down to the materials you're using, uh, an architectural drawing, and the pitch is the slope of the roof. And it also determines height of the roof so the higher the pitch the steeper the slope the longer the rafter and the, hop, the further it travels up this vertical line now to work out pitches it's pretty straight forward if you work to a simple equation of 90 degrees so what we do is we split the roof into two parts. We use two rafters, they connect at the top to a ridge and they connect to the wood plate. And this line down here, this vertical line here is our centre point of the building. Now, if this line is level and this this square coming through the bottom it will give us 90 degrees so that tells us on a 45 degree roof the cuts will both be the same top and bottom and when they sit on the plate it should be sitting on there snugly and when they reach the top they should be sitting Nice and plumb. Normally they're fixed, like I said earlier, they're fixed to a ridge board. So two cuts. Top one's called a plumb cut, bottom one's called a seat cut. And the reason for that is the seat cut sits on the plate, and the plumb cut, once the uh, rafter's sitting on the uh, seat cut properly, this cut should be plumb. So seat and plumb. Um, if you want to decrease your pitch or your slope, you can do that. But what it does, it changes the angles of your cuts. And this is what you need to understand. So, we've done a 45 degree roof, let's say we're going to drop the slope down and we're going to work now to a 35 degree pitch roof. And what that does, it changes the cuts we need. The plumb cut and the seat cut. If we use the 45 degree rafter which we showed you what we used earlier if you look down here carefully you can see that it doesn't quite line up with this line here which it should and also this line up here now from the vertical that angle will change because timbers changed position 
So whenever we work to a given pitch, whatever the said pitch is, so in this case it's 35 degrees, it tells us that our plum cut should be cut 35 degrees. Now for us to find the cut of the seat, all we have to do is make up 90. We always work to 90, so 35 and 55 gives you 90. And so it's that simple. If we wanted to come down the slope, want to move the slope down again or the pitch down again, and we wanted to go to 30 degrees, same thing. We'd cut the top at 30 degrees and we'd make our seat cut 60 degrees. Again, 30 and 60 equals 90. It's as simple as that. These are just basics. Uh, I will go into more depth uh, on another video and I'll show you different tools you can use to do your marking. Uh, I'll show you tools what you can use to cut rafters with. I'll show you how to cut compound mitres for hips and all the different cuts for the seat cuts. I'll show you how to cut jack rafters. And all of these cuts etc I'm going to show you they'll work on the smallest roof to the biggest roof the cuts never change depending on the size of the roof and I'll also show you how to work out the lengths of your rafters depending on the size of your building or structure I uh, hope this has been helpful give us a like if you've uh, enjoyed it and subscribe thanks very much